Hi there, my name is Jordan Tashner and welcome to another video in the Lesson Space video tutorial series. In this video, we are going to be looking at creating all different kinds of tabs in our Lesson Space and how we can configure those tabs to our liking for the most efficient lesson possible. Let's start with creating our first tab. To do so, let's look at the tab bar at the top of the page. Here we can see a button with a plus icon on it. Click it to see a number of tab options. We can see three different types of tabs. The first is the whiteboard tab. Click the whiteboard tab to open a new page on your space. The whiteboard tab is a collaborative drawing space for you and your students. On it, we can do a variety of useful things, such as add images, draw, insert equations and graphs, add shapes, and many, many more. The next tab we can see is the document tab. Clicking the document tab button will open up another page like we did with our whiteboard. Our document tab is a powerful document processor like Microsoft Word or Apple Pages. Here we can add headings, write documents, highlight text, and many, many more. Finally, for all our programmers, we have a fully fleshed out code editor with syntax highlighting for many programming languages from HTML, JavaScript, Python, and even SQL. To open a code editor tab, just click the tab on the drop down, just like the other tabs. Use any of the tabs to fine tune your lesson to make it as efficient as possible. We'll go into further detail of each tab in future videos. Let's now interact with our open tab. To rename your tab, double click on it and give it a new name. To close or delete the tab, click the cross icon on the tab. If you accidentally click the cross, you can click the undo button that appears as a notification when you click the cross. If you have many tabs open, like in this example, you can use the navigator arrows at the right end of the tab bar to navigate to more of your tabs. Let's now right click on the tab itself. Doing so will give you a number of options. First, you can disallow your tab to be closed in the case that you don't need to delete it anytime soon. You can also disallow any changes to your tab. This can be useful if you don't want your student to modify the contents of that tab. You can also duplicate a tab and even download the tab as an image on the whiteboard or HTML on a document or coding tabs. Finally, you can close tabs to the right if you need to in the case that you need to clean up your space a bit. The last feature I'm going to show you is a very, very useful one. You can upload PDFs straight to your space and it will all be handled for you. To import a PDF from your computer, click the plus icon like before and click import PDF slash office, choose a file from your computer and you'll see a number of tabs open for you to annotate on the whiteboard. And that's it for navigating the tab bar. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and be sure to catch out other tutorials in our lesson space tutorial series on YouTube.